I'm thrilled to announce our newest tool, the Word Grid Puzzle Tool. These puzzles will be a great addition to your puzzle book offerings. A word grid puzzle, also known as a word find puzzle, is sort of like a word search, but without the word list. The goal is to find as many words as you can in the grid within a set time frame. Form words by joining horizontally, vertically, or diagonally adjacent letters. Words must have at least three characters. No letterbox may be used more than once within a single word. You can write down both singular and plural forms of a word. You may only write down a word one time, even if you can form it with different letterboxes. Scoring is based on the number of letters in the words. For example, you could have a three-letter word be worth one point, a four-letter word worth two points, a five-letter word worth three points, and so on. Let's head over to a book creator and I'll demonstrate this new tool. To get to the Word Grid tool, you can click on Activity Books, Word Grid Puzzle Tool, or just click on the icon. This tool works just like all of the other ones. You start by selecting your grid size. I'm going to use 8.5 by 11. Then you go to your puzzle settings and set the number of puzzles. The puzzle starting number, so if you want to combine these word grid puzzles in with another book and you want to have these puzzles start with a different number besides one, you can do that here. You set your grid size, the letters across and letters down, and you can specify the percentage of the page that the puzzle takes up. So let's go ahead and do a refresh and I'll show you what the puzzles look like. So each puzzle is going to have a grid that's going to have letters across by letters down. Normally these puzzles are square, but if you want to have them not be square, you can do that too. I've given you that option here. You also have the spaces down here where people can write the words. And if you go to your title line settings, you can specify how many columns you want and how many rows you want. And that's over here under answer lines where you can set that you want how many columns and how many rows. So we can change that to, for example, four or eight. And now we have a different number of lines. You can also set the line size. So for example, if you're doing a word grid for kids, you might want to increase the line size. So if we make this a little bit bigger, then that's what that would look like. Let's go ahead and put it back down. You can also set the space here between each of the lines, that's this number, and the space between the puzzles and the lines, and that's the space between here and here. The other things that you can specify are, just like with the other tools, the title, it defaults to puzzle, but you can have it be whatever you want it to be. Let's say we wanted to change it to Word Grid. You can set the font you want for the title. Let's switch it to Meriwether, the font size. How about we make it a little bit bigger? do a refresh. You can also set how far down you want this title to go. So if we make that a bigger number, now our title has moved down. And you can set this space here between the title and the puzzle. So maybe we want that to be a little bit bigger. And that's what that would look like. Moving on to score. You can set the word you want to use. So if you didn't want to have that be there at all, just have it be a space. Now we don't have that there. If you wanted all capitals, you could do that. You can set the font independently from the title. Ooh, maybe we want it to be more fancy. You do that. You can set the font size. Let's make it say a little bit smaller. And now it's what it looks like. Maybe let's try a different font. There, I like that better. And if you want, to have a line there, you could put your colon and then do some underscores, and now you have that there. So you have full control over what that's going to look like, and you also have control over the location of that, where you have the score. So if we wanted to move it over, we could 
move it down from the top and we can move it over from the right. Let's see, let's move it so now it's moved down and over. And if you wanted to line it up there, that might be a 0.9. So you can play with these numbers and get the score to be exactly where you want it on the page. You can have it be exactly the font you want and exactly the font size that you want. You can also control this grid. For example, we can change the size of the grid lines. Again, if you're doing puzzles for children, you might want to make these darker. You can also change the font used for these letters. So let's pick a different font and the font size. And that's what that looks like. And you can also choose between uppercase or lowercase letters for your puzzle. And that's what that would look like. And if you want to shrink this down so you have more space for lines for people to write their words in, you can make this a little smaller. So if we go with 40%, now we have a much smaller grid, but a larger area for the words to be written in. So since we have a bigger area, how about we go put more lines there? And now that's what that looks like. And let's say you wanted to do a rectangle here instead. So we could do more letters across. So we did 19 letters across, for example. And that would look something like this. And that would give them more space to look for words. So that's something you could do. So we've given you a whole bunch of customization options so you can make your word grid puzzles unique to you and your brand and make them look however you want. You can even change all the colors of everything individually, the background color, the title color, the score color, the grid lines color, the lines for your answers, however you want to do it. Just to show you what that might look like. Let's change the title color, maybe the letter color. And that's what that would look like. So you can control that if you're maybe doing printables or interactive PDFs, which you can do for this as well, where you can go select the Kindle Scribe option. And it works just like the Kindle Scribe on all the other ones. The only exception is that we don't have a solution here because there is no solution for these types of books. So all of these settings work exactly the same as they do for our, all of our other books. So you can go look at some of those videos if you want to explore how that works. We've also added the save settings ability here. So maybe we'll save this one as rectangle grid. Now that one is saved. And let's see, let's go change it back to a square. And put the colors back to black. And make it eight and a half by 11. And now let's save this one as square grid. And we can go back and load our rectangle grid. And do a refresh and it's back to those settings go and load the square grid and it's back to those settings and with all of our tools when you're ready to download your PDF you just click on the download PDF button to get your PDF and that's how you use our word grid tool I think this is going to be a great addition to your puzzle books offering. You can add them into activity books. You can do entire books just with the word grids. And one of the great things about this type of a puzzle is that you don't have to come up with any words on your own. There's no inputs. You just can go in and can create these tools. Super easy, super fast. So start adding these types of puzzles to your books today. If you have any questions about this tool, leave them in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Your journey to crafting journals, planners, logbooks, and more starts here. Get going now with a free three-day trial at abookcreator.com.